it given, that's how we live it Don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed I hear a lot of people talking like they politicians Heavy K and McG's beef escalate A couple of days ago, Heavy K got misquoted by McG after he prefers the old version of Black Coffee who said the Trump boss said the album was pop. In other words, it was bad. Side, we're just drinking, smoking. Then I made black coffee. Fuck, black coffee is a chiller, bro. He remembers every single thing we've said about him on the podcast. You lie. I kid you For not. Real. Yeah. And he was what? telling me like, hey, you guys said this, this, this. We, I think we did an interview with Heavy K. I even forgot about the interview. Yes. And Heavy K said that the album that Black Coffee actually won the Grammy for was pop. Huh? Oh. Wait, but that was oh oh frequent frequent. What where was it? Was it sub, um subconscious? Yeah, he said it was pop. Yeah, so he said during the interview we did with Heavy K, Heavy K said that that album is pop. Okay, yes, I think I remember something like that. With yeah, the sound having been so foreign yeah. to us as South Africans. Yeah. yeah, and then he's like, you know, he won a Grammy. You know what I mean? Just after that, Heavy K went on to social media and said, one thing I won't allow is for people to lie on my name or project me as something I'm not, just to push their narrative. Apparently, this is what I said about Black Coffee when I was at podcast with McGee. Well, this obviously did not sit well with Heavy K, who pulled out the old interview to defend himself, and he said, the old Black Coffee is one that inspired me. I can say that the new Coffee is a very smart hot man. He calculates everything. There are places that he has been to that I have not been to. Maybe he has seen doors for him to explore, but for me it will always be that old sound. And addressing the misunderstanding in his recent show, McG said, oh. Until I mention what I mentioned on the episode, oh. so now uh, 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 Heavy K is putting one and two together, it's like, oh, now it makes sense why, why? Krutman hasn't been receptive and whatever. Yeah, because I like, spoke, he called me also. Yeah, and then I'm like, but he dog, said it, was, it wasn't that deep. I'm like, even when I was talking to Coffee, it wasn't that deep, dog. It was just a conversation in passing. Mm -hmm. It wasn't that deep, like, yo, So actually, it opened up you. for them to fix it if they can. You understand? Yeah. Oh, and yeah. the guy keeps going on, keeps going. Eventually, I'm like, dude, I don't have time for this shit. My son is sick, bro. Sunshine. I've given you enough time, more than I should have. And honestly, I've told you what I have told you. I've said what I said. Do with it what you may. But please, I cannot talk about this anymore. I don't have time. My son is sick. And I'm like, I'm out. Done. Then I see the fucking tweet. I'm like this fucking guy. Like, the, 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 there's no sense of human decency, bro. Sure. Do you get what I'm saying? Heavy K went on to respond and said, To set the record straight, I have no beef with my G. I just wanted him to clear things up on the same platform he used to discredit me. I fixed things with coffee already, so no apology needed. Back to work. Beef won't feed our kids. Let's focus, he tweeted. Heavy K went on to release WhatsApp conversations between him and McG. And he said, this F guy, he acts as if he's that important or impactful that I was bothering him or something. Not everybody deserves fame. Bitch, you misquoted me. Well, let me show you the full conversations. Do make sure you read and make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell for more of my content uploads. Thank you.